Children provide a lot of unique challenges. Principally, they desaturate quickly. They've got smaller airways. They require a good degree of dexterity to manage the problems that they have on their airways. Intubation is one of these areas in which they also provide a, a certain degree of psychological anxiety because this is a, a child, this could be very close to your heart and so therefore you're very worried about this child going off to sleep. The Royal Hospital of Sick Children is a tertiary referral paediatric centre in Scotland. We supply the southeast of, of Scotland for general services and we provide tertiary services for the whole of Scotland. Children traditionally require different equipment, different laryngoscope blades, different sized tubes, and so therefore people are generally get themselves quite anxious about doing children. One of the unique challenges to paediatric anaesthesia is the, the, the range of patients that we see you can have to deal with a tiny, tiny baby or an adolescent rugby player. The variety of size of children means that you've got to change your blades for each individual size, so therefore you can't use a large blade on a very small baby, so you would have to change that. And it therefore means you're looking down a deep dark hole with a slightly different technique, which actually makes the whole process a little bit more challenging. You often don't have much time to stabilise that airway, so you want to make sure that your first attempt at laryngoscopy and intubation is your only attempt. By changing to something which gives you a little bit of a better view, which allows you to see what's going on and allows other people in the room to see what's going on, suddenly the pressure on that situation drops dramatically. We were very lucky to have seen the original uh, McGrath uh, laryngoscope when it came out. And we really worked with the company to try to push the boundaries. And with that, we were able to help in some of the development of the Mac 1 blade, which we've had great results with. And we now have McGrath Max within every theater and plus in all our emergency equipment. The McGrath Mac from our point of view is a great piece of equipment we can use daily without having to have it sitting on a difficult airway trolley and only used on difficult patients. We find that we get a more optimal view of the larynx first time. We find that the view is not only visually better but is also functionally better. That means that we can actually view our target and safely intubate it easier. The ODPs are now so familiar with us using it they can see what I can see and they know what I'm going to need. And we're so lucky, you know, our ODPs are in complete symbiosis with them. They know they are a right hand men and women. I think as an ODP, the main benefit for us is that we can actually see when the anaesthetist is trying to intubate a patient. I've never yet come across an incident where we have had to move away from a McGrath and move on to a traditional handle. With trainees, previously to actually be standing beside that person and not see what they actually see. It's very hard to guide them on how to optimally get the best view and to secure that airway. And I think that's the beauty of the video laryngoscope. The pressure was off because you could see what they were seeing and you could relax knowing that they were able to intubate patients while you were keeping an eye on what was happening. I suppose it gives me um, the confidence to allow an advanced nurse to, to intubate a baby with me there, directly watching what she's doing, knowing that I am able to influence the view that she's got and talk her through what she's actually doing while she's doing it. I know how I feel about it and if I'm at, it's two o'clock in the morning and I've got a junior anaesthetist and the consultant may not be, be immediately at hand, I can offer advice. I think the Sick Kids in Edinburgh is enormously encouraging of technology and innovation. We have very forward-thinking, innovative staff across the board, and I think that makes us do the same. Once you get your consultant job, that's not the end of your learning. It's a lifelong learning to always be enhancing and looking for ways to make um, treatment for for children or any patient in um, safer and better quality. We live in a very challenging time whereby new techniques generally mean a greater expense and sometimes there is a, a challenge with trying to get them through. 
But thankfully, within this hospital, if we have new techniques that we wish to try, we are given the scope to do those to see if there is an actual benefit. Having you know, technology just for technology's sake is not necessarily a good thing, but utilising technology which is out there and trying to get the best for our patients is one of the main reasons why things such as video laryngoscopy has made such an important part in our departmental profile. Being a consultant the last 10 years, I could count on the fingers of one hand the number of things that have brought something totally different to the table. This is a technology that we've embraced that has definitely enhanced practice.